Good evening, guys and girls. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about 15 reasons why you should move to Wai Hin and it's a good place for retirement. Okay, 15 different reasons, then I'll tell you two reasons why maybe it might not be for you. Okay, Let's... okay, first reason is the weather, the climate. Now, everyone thinks about, everyone knows that Thailand's a hot country and Wai Hin in particular is hot, but no one talks about the rainfall. Okay. Why Wai Hin is, you know, one of the places where there's the least amount of rainfall in the country, okay? Which is pretty important considering the rainy season lasts for quite a few months uh, in Thailand. Uh, places like Bangkok, Phuket have a lot more rainfall, Ko Chang, uh, Chiang Mai, they'll have a lot more rainfall than Wai Hin, okay? So that's a, it's a good reason uh, to live there. The rainfall during the wet, rainy season can be slightly annoying for you. Okay, tip two, or reason two, <laughs> uh, international foods. So there's lots and lots of different international foods in Hua Hin, okay, for you to have if you're a, an expat coming over here to retire. Uh, there's a, a villa market, there's lots of international supermarkets you can go to like villa market where you can get uh, exported products uh, from your own country wherever you're from. Uh, so lots of different western foods, there's lots of western restaurants, uh, western markets, uh, Sisida I think it's called, uh, and you know where they'll have there's a burger place, there's a pizza place, there's all kinds of different Western foods there that you can get. So yeah, you, you're not gonna be short of Western food for sure in Hua Hin. One of the things, one of the best places or, you know, up there with, you know, Phuket and uh, Bangkok for like Western food. Okay. okay, third reason would be medical care. There's good medical care in Hua Hin. Okay, it's not as good as Bangkok, but it's a pretty good, uh, and not as good as, Phuket, if I'm honest, uh, but I, you know, they've got Bangkok hospitals in Hua Hin. And remember, you're not as far away from Bangkok where there's, you know, world class hospitals. You're only three hours away, two and a half hours away. You're not mile, like Chiang Mai, you'll be a long, long way away. Or if you're living in somewhere else in the country, you know, down in uh, Phuket, even though Phuket have some fantastic hospitals as well. Uh, so yeah, that, that'd be another reason, the, the great uh, medical facilities and the cheapness of it, you know, they are very, very cheap. Uh, the facilities here uh, you know if you have something wrong with you and a lot of you would have insurance when you come over uh, but even if you didn't you know the prices are not ridiculous they are you know a lot cheaper than the west uh, and for dental care as well uh, okay number four up to uh, expat community there's a massive expat community in Hua Hin and it's growing every year it's getting bigger and bigger there's lots of different nationalities living uh, in Hua Hin uh, similar to Bangkok uh, or Phuket, you know, there's a, a lot of, lot of uh, nationalities living there. So, you know, it's nice to, you know, you're going to have free time to, you know, you want to be able to make friends there. And it's obviously nicer to mix uh, with some Westerners as well as Thai people. Okay, so that's another great reason, I think. is Number five, beaches. So there's lots of great beaches around Hua Hin. Hua Hin's got a beach. There's Khao Tibiap just up. There's a, a few other ones just north, uh, just south. There's north, there's Chai Am. Uh, if you go south an hour or so, there's like Bradjok Kui Kan. Uh, uh, what's it called, that one? Yeah, there's another one there. Uh, forget the name now. Uh, but about an hour and a half uh, south of there, uh, Hua Hin is uh, some fantastic Sambo Yacht, that's the one. Uh, Sambo Yacht National Park, and there's a few beaches around there that are superb, superb, yeah. So some fantastic beaches to go to uh, around Hoi Hin. Okay, six, uh, world-class golf. There's world-class golf all over Thailand, but in particular in Hoi Hin, there's some fantastic golf courses, some world-class golf courses. So uh, you've probably seen some on the internet about the golf courses. So if you're into golf, I'm actually not into golf, but if you're into golf, which I know a lot of, Retired, uh, retired expats here in Thailand are, especially in Hua Hin, it's a very popular kind of hobby uh, in Hua Hin at the moment. So yeah, some fantastic golf courses. That's another great reason if you're into that. Number seven, nightlife. Yeah, there's some great nightlife for elderly, older people, I would say. So it's not like Bangkok. It's not like Phuket, you know, it's a lot more low key, but that's kind of cool if you're retired. You know, you're looking for some just a bar to go and chill in, chat, chat to other people, other foreigners or ladies or whatever. Uh, so the bar, the bar seems really nice in Hua Hin. It's really chilled. They're really small little bars. There's a little bit of music playing. It's very relaxed. There's comfortable chairs to sit in. For me, I love it. Uh, yeah, it's a really relaxed place. It's very different to uh, Bangkok. Uh, 
yeah, so the bar, the bar scene's really, really nice, I think. And there is, you know, there are lively areas around Bindabar, and now it's uh, Soy 80 and Soy 94. There's a, a lot of action going on there. If you, you know, you can go looking. There is an odd nightclub or two, uh, kind of small nightclubs, uh, if, you, if you want that kind of thing. But I presume you kind of, if you're retiring, you kind of want more relaxed kind of bar where you can sit, play a bit of pool, chat to some people, nice comfy seats, like oh, I kind of look for places like this nowadays and not too loud music. Uh, so these kind of places, they're all over Waihin and everyone's uh, really nice in the bars, you know, they're really friendly and stuff. Okay, number eight. It's close to Bangkok, you know, you're not that far from Bangkok, which is kind of cool, you know, you don't want to be too far from Swanapum Airport, uh, so you can get flights to different countries if you're going to go back to the States or Australia or England or wherever you're from, uh, Sweden or, yeah, uh, if you're going to go back. So that's always a good thing not to be absolutely miles away from Bangkok, I always think. Uh, so yeah, the flight's home, uh, so being close to Bangkok uh, is kind of cool as well, not being, you know, miles and miles away from Bangkok, so the international airport there. There is an airport in Wai Hin, but they don't, they don't, they go to one or two places, but they don't go all the way back to England or anything like that. You'd have to come back to Sawanapum Airport or Don Mung Airport, and then you could fly to on to another country from there. That's it. Okay, number nine, no one ever talks about this. This is, you know, the pollution. The pollution's pretty bad in Thailand sometimes, which maybe you don't know about. Uh, up north, it's horrendous in Chiang Mai in certain months. Uh, they have the, what they call the burning season. Uh, so there's a lot of pollution from the burning the crops off, the rice crops and stuff off. So yeah, it is really horrendous up in Chiang Mai for a couple of months. Uh, I think it's like February, March time. I don't know exact months when it is, but it is horrendous. So that can affect all over the country. They have this kind of the burning season so why Hin doesn't really get affected by this you know you don't really get pollution there it's next to the ocean the air is always pretty fresh whenever i've been there it all seems pretty good you know uh, i've never never had bad pollution there i mean occasionally they get a bit but sometimes in some areas in thailand it's horrendous like chiang mai like can be horrendous for like two months of the year uh, i think phuket's not too bad but the, the burning season is something to really think about, you know, it does affect a lot of countryside, countryside places uh, in Thailand, the burning season will really affect the pollution. If you suffer with your breathing or something, if you're an older guy or girl, you know, it's something to think about, you know. I, I know a few expats who have like moved from Chiang Mai because, uh, you know, the, there's two or three months where it's really, really difficult, you know, for the breathing. So they kind of have to escape for two or three months. So they ended up moving somewhere different, maybe down to Phuket or Hawaii Hin or even back to Bangkok or something. Okay, round number 10, small town vibe, if you like that, you know, it's not for everyone, but you know, a lot of people like that kind of small town vibe, everyone knows each other, so you get friendly with each other, so it's got a lovely little small town vibe going on there, I think, so that's something I think a lot of you guys and girls might like, okay, that, that's up to personal preference if you like that kind of thing or not, uh, but for me, that's a cool thing. Okay, number 11, I haven't got that many fingers, uh, money, so it's cheap, it's cheap in... Wai Hin in general, you know, in Thailand it's cheap all over, but particularly in Wai Hin, it's, uh, you know, it's a good price. It's, uh, you know, a lot cheaper than I would say Phuket, if you were thinking of moving there. I think it's similar to Pattaya. Uh, maybe Pattaya may be a little bit cheaper, uh, but on the whole, you know, it is a good value. You get a, you know, really good uh, price for things in Wai Hin, you know, it's good value compared to where you are from in the West, okay? Uh, so yeah, it's a fantastic place to come for that reason, the, the cost of living, the cost of living is going to be a lot less than where you're staying at the moment, depending where you're living, of course, uh, but most people who come here, you know, say how cheap the country is and uh, Wai in particular is a great place to come because of the, the price of things, yeah. Okay, number 12. Uh, Apartments, condos, so the, the two a penny, they're everywhere, you know, you've got apartments, condos, Western standards, you know, good price, like I said before, you know, and they're, they're, they're all over, they're by the beach, they're, you know, you can buy them or rent them away from the beach, they're, 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 you know, they're such good value, you can get for 10, 15,000 baht, and remember, you're, you're next to the beach, so, you know, fantastic, obviously, there's some very, very expensive ones, uh, but, you know, there are some cheap ones as well, so, the the good thing about living in Wai Hin, there's always something you know, there's always a price to pay. You know, you can pay either a cheap condo or a really expensive. It's totally up to you. There's like a massive kind of a gap, you know, from, you know, if you've really not got much money to if you're really, really rich, you know, there's, there's something for everybody in Hawaii and in Thailand in general, that is. 
Uh, so it's a good place to come for that reason, the condos and apartments. And you can find very much Western standards uh, for the condos and apartments. And Okay, we're on 13 now, so uh, this is a good one. That, you know, everyone speaks English there. So if, you, if you've got a problem that, you know, you can only speak English, you can't speak Thai, you know, I know how difficult it is learning Thai, you know, I've tried, struggled with it for many, many years. Uh, so I understand. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of English spoken in Hawaii, you know, they don't really expect you to speak Thai and it's a massive tourist town as well as expat town there. So you can, uh, you know, pretty much speak English all the time and people have a good level of English there, a lot more than other places I've lived in Thailand. Uh, so yeah, it's a good place for that. There's a lot of English speakers there. Okay, nearly there, 14, we're on, are we? Yeah, okay, 14. People are friendly, so everyone's friendly as, you know, but that is in general in Thailand, you know, but certain areas are more friendly than other areas. And certainly Hua Hin is pretty friendly. Everyone seems pretty happy there. You know, it's a nice little town. It's quite a small town feel. Most of the Thais that are living there are quite happy because their lifestyle is quite nice. You know, even with the expat scene, you know, everyone's quite happy because it's a nice kind of uh, scene there, as opposed to Bangkok. Uh, you know, it's quite different, you know, if you're living in Bangkok. I mean, I live just a suburb north of Bangkok. Uh, well, yeah, province uh, like Nantabri, which joined on to Bangkok. And, you know, everyone's not quite as happy there. You can see it's a bit more of a, a city kind of lifestyle, you know, there. So, yeah, a little bit different. So, Wahin is really, really good for that. Okay, number 15 might not be for you, but for me, this is a big, big plus point of Wahin. The beach is amazing for walking along in the mornings or in the evenings. You know, the, the sea goes out and you can just walk for miles and miles, kilometer, uh, kilometers, it's, you know, I don't know how long it is, but it's, you, know, you can walk for five, six kilometers along there, it's fantastic. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, it's fantastic for me because I love running or walking along the beach. So it's amazing, yeah, you can walk, it's really flat. Uh, level there so you can walk right along and you know you can spend a few hours walking right along and back again if you want to so that, that for me is a real plus point okay so at the start of the video that was going to be two reasons maybe why why he might not be for you okay so i'll give you them reasons now so first one might be there's a lot of jellyfish on the beach on the beaches okay uh my son got stung there once or twice no only once actually uh, but so you there are jellyfish on the beaches quite a bit you do see them walking up and down so you know you, it is possible to get stung by them i mean you have to be a bit unlucky but they, they are there it's just something to be aware of if it really something you want to go swimming all the time in the ocean uh then maybe that's something that might put you off that's the only thing i've noticed in white in the only annoying thing a little bit there's a few jellyfish uh the other thing would be the water isn't 100 percent clear all the time Okay, so it's not crystal clear seawater, okay? So it's not like Phuket beaches, you know, it is different like that. You are a bit closer to Bangkok. The better beaches kind of happen a bit further south. I mean, you can drive an hour or so south and the, the, the water gets a lot clearer. Uh, but around Wai Hin Beach, uh, you know, it isn't that clear, okay, to, to be honest. So if that affects you, I mean, I still swim in it and everyone swims in it and it's still nice. Uh, there's a few rocks around certain areas, but uh, there's still an area you can swim in front of the Hilton, uh, which maybe you saw in one of the other videos. It's quite a nice area for swimming. There's no rocks there, quite safe. Uh, yeah, that would be maybe a couple of reasons why it might not be for you, but of kind of minor reasons, you know. All in all, you know, Wahini is an fantastic as you just heard all them different things i've just said about it. it's a fantastic place to come uh, and retire to or just even holiday in you know a fantastic place to come and visit uh, there's lots of other places in thailand you could retire to but for me why hin has it all i think uh, and maybe if i get a bit of interest on this video i might do another video about Pattaya or retiring in Pattaya or chiang mai or phuket or something a little bit different okay guys thanks for uh, listening and i'll see you next time okay bye bye